the first thing you realize about vitamin D3 is that it's not a vitamin. It was misnamed like many other things. It, it's actually a hormone. And as you alluded to, it's produced exclusively from UV, re UV rays hitting our skin and there's chemical reactions right under our skin level that produce vitamin D3. Now, because it's a hormone, uh, as far as I can think of right now, I, I think kind of by definition, all hormones have to be lipid soluble, meaning that um, they would be like oil on water. They wouldn't mix with water, but they would mix with oil. So um, fat soluble, lipid soluble, and, and lipid is another word for fat. So fat soluble hormones or fat soluble vitamins as they call them, um, um, those actually get stored in your body fat. So when somebody tests your vitamin D3 levels, they're testing what's in your bloodstream. Doesn't necessarily say what's in your, in your stored fat. Um, and there are ways to do that better, but what most people do, they're just getting what's, whatever's in their blood. Um, so it's not like if I produce 100 vitamin D3 molecules today and I need 100 vitamin D3 molecules today, I'm going to use the same ones I produced. That's not necessarily the case, right? So it, it stores over time. <clears throat> so the timing of when you, when you store a hormone um, doesn't, really, doesn't really matter. So uh, it's like if you, let's say if you're on hormone replacement therapy and you know, you're a 50 year old man or woman and you're doing hormone replacement therapy, it doesn't matter if you do that in the morning or the afternoon or the evening because that's all, you know, those are hormones. Those are lipid soluble hormones that, are, that have activity 24 hours a day. So I put vitamin D3 in there because vitamin D3 and magnesium are cofactors for uh, the 5-hydroxytryptophan. So if you'll remember from earlier or, or other videos, it's L-tryptophan, which is an amino acid that's in meat. That becomes 5-hydroxytryptophan. And then with the help of magnesium and vitamin D3, 5-hydroxytryptophan becomes serotonin, and then serotonin can become melatonin. So if you're vitamin D3 deficient, that might decrease your ability to make serotonin, which there, therefore decreases your ability to make melatonin.